G'day Keen Golfers, Jacob Boric here again with my fellow crew, golfer in training Jack Spottiswood and the lovely Nicole Garthbert. Welcome to another weekly tip in golf. I hope your drives are improved from last week and today we will be focusing on the short game and particularly the bunker shot. The bunker shots we'll be looking at will include practice shots from the practice bunkers, practice shots from fairway bunkers and from the green bunkers and also the perfect shot. In the bunker, we'll be looking at wet sand shots, hard sand shots, plug lies, and much more. I've really been struggling with my short game lately and I really hope Jacob can save my golf game once again like he did with the drives last weekend. And by what you have described, I'm definitely going to be able to do this. So let's get this show on the road. To start off with, we will delve into the motor learning theories and biomechanics behind the shots mentioned earlier. Over time, a lot of biomechanical research has been conducted on the golf swing, such as a golfer's technique, which has a large effect on golf performance, where the aim is to hit the golf ball into a small hole in as few shots as possible. Golf performance can be accessed via direct, ball displacement or shot accuracy, or indirect, club head velocity, club face angle at contact outcome measures. Now Jack and Jacob will go into more detail in regards to these. Magnitude and direction of the linear club head velocity at impact is determined by the angular velocity of the club head during the swing and the length of the club. Golfers must develop a consistent fundamental swing pattern to secure the qualities just mentioned. Optimal golf teaching strategies to obtain the fundamental swing pattern may differ for golfers of varying standards. It is evident that there is less biomechanical research on golf ball striking accuracy than optimal ball displacement or club head velocity. Successfully hitting from a bunker requires a golf ball to be hit accurately over a relatively short distance. Success in hitting the shot is still related to the velocity of the ball after impact with the club and the ball's direction. These two variables may be affected by grip type, the ability to read the green, magnitude and direction of club head velocity at impact and point of contact between the ball and club. Ball displacement or club head velocity may also be improved by increasing downswing, amplitude or the sequential acceleration of body parts. Studies comparing golfers of varying age, gender, ability and fitness may increase our understanding of the determinants of golf ball displacement and accuracy and provide golf coaches with additional information on how to coach a variety of clients. Now that the background of the golf shot has been discussed, Jacob will now take us through the steps of completing a golf shot from a bunker, referring to the importance of balance, centre of gravity and commitment. With completing a golf shot from the green side bunker, there is a few key things to remember before you take the shot. First of all, choosing the correct club for the bunker shot, not grounding the club on the sand and the stance that is recommended for the shot. Hello again fellow golfers, we're back here with weekly golf tips. I'm going to teach you how to hit a bunker shot today. A bunker is considered a hazard. What that means is, once you enter this bunker, there's a, as you can see, there's the outline of the bunker there. Just go around the outline of the Just go around the one. Right now, me. Right, so once you enter the bunker, that is a hazard. That means you cannot ground your club or you will be awarded a two-stroke penalty. Alright, so. Another thing about the bunker is that they're mainly, there's two different types of bunkers. You've got a fairway bunker and a green side bunker. Most bunkers are found near the green, which is like just beside the green as you can see. Okay, we're going to the basics now guys. Where the bunker is, green side, fairway. Who it is applied to, yourself, the golfer. And when you will need to hit this shot, it's quite a hard shot to execute. So a lot of amateurs often find, you know, they'll sit there like this, they'll go on the bunker and they'll screw up. Alright, now I'm going to show you how you should execute this shot. First of all, you can have any type of wedge. There's a sand wedge, pitching wedge and a lob wedge. I'm using a lob wedge today, but it doesn't matter which wedge you'll use, they're all good in the bunker. Okay, first of all, let's sort out the stands. You want the ball placed in the middle of the stands. Right about here. And first of all, you'll just like any other shot, you'll line up straight like that. In a bunker shot, what I want you to do is I want you to open your, open your stance a bit. So if you're a right-hander, 
I want your left foot open out to about 110 degrees, so like this. You know, wiggle around, get comfortable in the bunker, so you can execute this shot. Now, what you don't want to do is hit the ball like uh, like a normal shot. Don't hit the ball like this. So what you'll find is you'll skim it. Also, don't in that in saying that, don't sit there and take a chunk out because you'll never get it out of the bunker. <clears throat> you want about in between there. And what you want, what you'll notice is the sand will in fact splash the ball out like this. Okay, so I'm here with Jack. Now Jack struggles in the bunker, so we're going to let him have a shot. So you're going to have a full suit just like you would get in the bunker, Jack. And then we're going to critique him on what he did wrong. Off you go, Jack. There. What has he done wrong, guys? You're not meant to ground your club in the bunker because that will be awarded to the shot penalty. And so you lift that club. Just that's it. You know you want it just to, just above the ground, so you, you cannot be touching the ground. So that's one thing. Okay, now go back, Jack. Pretend like you are going to hit the shot again. Okay, you done it wrong again. Yeah, that's it. Now take the club back. Okay, and I'll stop there. Okay, what Jack's done, it's a typical mistake between amateurs, is that what they find is when they get in the bunker, they straight away begin to panic, you know, they don't wanna they don't wanna leave it in there, they don't wanna skim it out of there. Now what you gotta do is you gotta act like it's a normal shot. You gotta set your feet. We'll get to Jack's feet in a second that he has done wrong as well. But you wanna take it back here. So what I'll get to do is take it back. Keep going, keep going. Oh, stop there. Now that's what you want, you want a big full swing. Now follow through. What he's done there is he's got it out of the bunker, the starters, but he didn't hit enough sand. Alright, that's another thing. We'll get another ball here, Jack. Alright. Remember the steps I taught you earlier? You want to hit the ball probably about an inch behind the ball. So Jack, can I get you to re that shot for me? Just behind the ball. That. Okay, so we've got all that down power, you can get it out of the bunker. Now we're getting good enough where we want to worry about our aiming. So where's the ball going, Jack? It's going a bit right, isn't it? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, the pin's there, so what do you think you're going to do now to aim it up the pin? Line my feet up with the pin. That's it, that was the third step we went through. So you're going to open your stance up a bit. Open your left foot. Open your stance. He doesn't know how to open his feet. <laughs> open his feet. Just bring the foot out here. That's it. Now wiggle your feet. Get comfortable. Alright, now let's do the shot. Alright, Jack, you feel pretty comfortable out of bunkers now? Yeah. Relatively. Well done. Two. Step one. Do not ground the club. Step two. Take your normal stance. Step three. Oh. Open your stance until you feel comfortable. Step four, wiggle your feet, feel comfortable with the shot. Uh, step five, it's to take it back as a full swing. Step six, stay committed and follow through. Now I'm going to show you how to execute a bunker shot correctly using all six of those steps. I've just teed off and I've landed myself in a fairway bunker. Now as you can see, let's go around the bunker there guys. As you can see, the bunker itself is quite flat. Like you won't find the big old humps in there and the, the big dips at the back. It's quite a flat bunker and that's how all fairway bunkers are usually made. But and also because of that, the shot itself needs to become, it, it needs to differentiate from the greenside bunker. Alright so in saying that we're going to hit Instead of front foot, open stance, club face open, we're going to try and hit it like a normal shot. In the middle of your stance, try not to take a divot with the ball, try and just pick the ball out of the seam. Because if you take a divot, it's going to splash the ball out like a, and you don't want that because it's only going to go 20 yards, 20 metres. We'll go metres on the film. Uh, and here we go, this is what a bunker shot should look like from the fairway. And remember guys, always to rank the bunker when you finish, that accounts for the green side and the fairway bunker, both.
So we've just hit the fairway shot, landed in the greenside bunker. Now, Jack, you've been equipped with the knowledge and the prestige on how to hit these greenside bunker shots earlier in the film. Do you think you can execute this shot? I do. Okay, we're going to see if Jack can apply the green side bunker shot into gameplay. All right, here we go. Have a go, Jack. Okay, so we know the fundamentals of this bunker shot. They are, you know, wiggle your feet around, open your stance, club just above the sand, open the club face, take it back, follow through, just clip the sand so you splash the ball out, don't take too much of a divot, don't grab the ball. Okay, now that we know how to execute the bunker shot correctly, we're going to come across a lot of different types of shots throughout the gameplay of golf. Alright, this is a typical shot you'll come across. The sand right here is quite hard, you know, it's like concrete. So we're going to try and change up our shot a little bit. Instead of hitting the ball off your front foot, just open stance, club face open, we're going to want to bank it down. You want it on, the, on your back foot, close the club face a little bit, and try and do the same thing, you know, splash it out, but you're off your back foot this time. So it should, the power and the momentum should force the ball out. So we'll see how. Alright, here we are with another situation. Say it was raining the night before or even raining while you're playing golf. The sand will come wet. Now this means it's going to be quite hard to, you know, dig in because your club will get lost in the sand and it'll kind of flop right there. So what you're going to have to really do is commit. This is the main one where you need to commit to the shot. So open stance, it's on a flat ground surface, open the stance, make sure you follow through because if you don't follow through and just plug the sand like this, it's going to go two feet in front of you. Alright, so what you want to do is make sure you follow through. Hello golfers, another shot you'll find in the bunker is a plug line. These types of shots will occur when like, you'll have a tendency to hit a short iron into the green, you'll leave it short and it'll fly and just plug straight away. How you hit this shot is off your back foot. So you don't want to, you don't want to have an open stance because you, you know, you'll miss the ball, it's too down in there. You want to have your back foot, take about an inch and a half behind the ball so it splashes it out, and then make sure you follow through. Another shot you'll find is the uphill bunker shot. This is probably one of the easiest shots in the bunker you can hit. Because one, it's already, the stance itself making you open your stance automatically. So you just hit it normal, open your stance, about an inch behind the ball, make sure you follow through. Just remember to always rake up the bunker after you finish. So Jack, do you feel pretty confident now of the bunkers now? I do, I believe I've gained a lot of knowledge from this tip, helping tips. That's great. So I hope that everyone's learned as much about getting out of the bunker as Jack has, now he's a pro. Thanks for watching guys and we hope you join us next week when we learn about how to putt. <laughs> Step two. Wiggle your feet and feel comfortable. No, that's step four. Go. Not bad, eh? oh, it's never going to work with him. Have a good one, guys. Remember, stay.